All right, guys, what's going on? Um, the news out there is pretty much reporting, you know, from a lot of rumors and a lot of news from different sources are saying that Adrian Broner is moving up to welterweight to fight Pauli Malignaggi for his next fight. Now, I'm going to give you my thoughts on this. You know, this is interesting, man. Uh, I mean, I first heard this when it first came out. I kind of brushed it off. I didn't really think Adrian Broner was going to do it. But um, this is interesting, man. I think that people are going to look at this a multitude of ways. You know, some people are going to look at it as Adrian Broner is ducking the 140-pound division. And I think other people are going to look at it as he's taking the bigger challenge and moving up to welterweight. I think people are going to look at it one of two ways. And I think it's all going to depend on whether you like Adrian Broner or you don't for the most part. I mean, that's just the way it is. You know, at the end of the day, when it comes down to a lot of these fighters, you know, you could pretty much break down anybody's resume and pretty much, I mean, it's not hard to find a reason to uh, to dislike a fighter, man. So, I mean, if you don't like a fighter, you're going to you're gonna come up with your own logic and kind of twist the facts to, to make them what you want. I mean, that's just what most people do. You know, this one's kind of hard for me to really think about where the bigger challenge is at. Because I've been on record saying I don't even think that Broner has a future at welterweight. You know, I've, I've, I've been on record saying that. You know, I think that the welterweight division is just too big, too strong. Um, I mean, he, he's about to really, by going to welterweight, forfeit his advantages. Let's think about that for a second. By going to welterweight, you know, you got to presume that he's going to be losing a little bit of power or even if his power stays the same you know his punches aren't going to have the same effect as they did on smaller guys okay let's understand that adrian broner like i've said before he's not a one punch knockout power kind of guy the guy's got um heavy hands he's strong he's got power but it's really the accumulation of, of punches that eventually breaks you down and that's you know, his punching power at the weight he is now. Let's move him up to welterweight where he's fighting guys who are a lot bigger. So you're taking away the size, the height, you know, you're taking away a lot of those advantages. And now you're saying, okay, now we got to see how Adrian Broner is really going to do when he has to really box in there, when he has to really move around the ring and, you know, be more of a tactician. We haven't really had to see that yet, you know, um, so this is very interesting, man. It's very, very interesting. I'm really wondering where they're going with this because I really expected him. Um, I didn't even expect him to move up so soon, you know, to 140. I really didn't. I thought he was really going to milk 135 for as long as he could, really go after the Burns fight. And then eventually I thought he was going to go up to 140, you know, and, and look after an Amir Khan fight. But... It looks like he's just really bypassed all that and went straight to 147, kind of like how uh, Robert Guerrero just did, <laughs> you know, kind of like how Robert Guerrero did. And, and um, he was able to have a lot of success, you know. So this is really interesting, man. I'm really shocked by this news. You know, he's fighting Pauli Malignaggi. And if this is true and he's going to fight Pauli, I'm really glad that that fight has happened and i really am because i've just really been hoping that somebody could beat the crap out of paulie malignaggi i really do i think the guy's a great ring announcer but i'm really just tired of the guy just um you know holding that belt and he's just not a real champion and everybody knows it so i mean i was just hoping that anybody could really just take the belt off of this guy so i really hope that adrian broner does go in there and beat the crap out of him but the real question is, what is it going to be his future at, at welterweight? Is Broner going to stick around there? Or is he going to plan to go back down to 140 after? I mean, once he has the belt, you know, I presume he's going to, you know, stay around there. But, I mean, then this gets even more interesting because, obviously, if he goes to welterweight, um, you know, Floyd is holding one of the belts up there, man. And one of the fights that I've really, I really want to see is Adrian Broner versus Floyd. I really would love to see that fight. Um, God, they both said that, you know, they they didn't want to make that fight, you know, because of their friendship. 
But with Broner moving to welterweight, who knows, man? It, it's it becomes a possibility. Floyd, if he's gonna fulfill that that contract of, of those six fights, he's gonna need opponents, man. And I could see Broner sliding in there. Why not? You know, so that would be a great fight. And there's gonna be good fights out there for him at welterweight, man. Tough, gritty fights. Really interesting, man. Really interesting news, man. Um, like I said, I'm not really sure what to make of it, but I'm not really gonna gonna you know I'm not gonna jump on the the bandwagon of people that are probably going to be bashing Broner and say that he's ducking the 140 division. Um, I mean, if he's going a division higher than 140, then um, just by the, the physicality of the fighters that he's going to be dealing with, he's going to be dealing with some tough fighters up there, man. So I, I got to give him props for making that move because um, he could have easily went to 140, um, you know, and tried to get a fight with a guy like a Khan or somebody like that. And that would probably have been easier than him going to all the way up to welterweight. So I'm not taking anything away from him. And even this Pauli Manaji fight, um, this could be, you know, a decent little test for Mayweather. I'm not obviously not going to pick Pauli Manaji to beat Broner, but he's a guy who's a mover in there, you know, and, um, you know, he's still going to be moving up in weight is Adrian Broner. So this is going to be a nice little test for Adrian. So uh, this is just like a really intriguing fight. It really is. And the trash talk between these guys has already started. So I think we're in for a good show, man. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to really <laughs> think about this more. You know, the fact that he's if he's really moving up, because I, I really just didn't see this one coming, man. This one threw me for a loop. You guys let me know what y'all think about this. How do y'all see Adrian Broner uh, performing at welterweight? Do you guys think that he could dominate the welterweight division? The same way he did the lightweight division. Um, do you think he's even going to make this move? You know, do you think he's avoiding the guys at 140? Or what do you guys think is going on with this? Let me know what your thoughts are. Peace.